Okay, moving on now, we're on the home stretch where we join the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria for a special Thanksgiving service and then a reception in his honor, put together by the chairman of Zenith Bank, Mr. Jim Ogba. It's a regular Sunday for the worshippers, but a special day for the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Godwin Imefili, his wife Margaret, and their family. Mr. Emefili set aside this day to give thanks to God for his blessings. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. As expected, the CBN governor and his family are not celebrating alone. They've invited friends from far and wide to celebrate this day with them. His team at the Central Bank of Nigeria is also present. Some of the guests that made the church service are the governors of Ekiti State, Dr. Kayode Fayemi, and Enugu State, Ifanyu Gwai. Also present is a very good friend of the celebrant, Mr. Jim Ovia, who is the chairman of Zenith Bank, president of Dangote Group, Alhaji Aliko Dangote, boardroom guru, Obao Tudepo, businessman, Mr. Pascal Dozier, and many other distinguished guests. Mr. Godwin Emefili was first appointed to head Nigeria's Apex Bank in June 2014 by former president Dr. Goodluck Jonathan. He was recently reappointed for a second five-year term by President Muhammadu Buhari. For this and other blessings, he says he's grateful to God. <laughs> The thanksgiving and prayers bring the special mass to an end. Our prayer is that he has a, he's already done well. Uh, we pray that he will finish well with the second term. But the celebrations did not end there. A reception was put together for him by his friend, Mr. Jim Ovia, at the Civic Center in Victoria Island. It's a red carpet welcome for distinguished guests. And then a cocktail to get everyone in the right mood for the occasion, after which they move into the main hall of the Civic Center. No time at all, the hall is filled up. Guests then welcome the celebrant and his wife, Mr. Godwin, and Mrs. Margaret Imifili. Also joining them here is the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshimbajo. Today's celebrant is an old boy of Maryland Comprehensive College, Lagos, and the school orchestra opened the event.
Thereafter, the organizer, Mr. Jim Ovia, takes to the podium first to acknowledge everyone and then to use the opportunity of the occasion to challenge the CBN governor to create job opportunities for the youth. For me to plead with the central bank governor to create the enabling environment through various initiatives that would empower the Nigerian youth. This is probably one of the non-political events to draw a huge gathering of political heavyweights from across party divides, people of different religious backgrounds, tribe and race. Welcome you to this very grandiose event on which our governor, the governor of the CBN, the very best in this is new tenure. We want to thank Mr. Kim Ovier for taking this initiative and all of our captains of industry for rallying around us. Apart from the host governor, Mr. Babajide Sonwulu, other governors present here include the governor of Delta State, Dr. Ifan Yokoa, the governor of Hukum State, Mr. Dapo Abiodu, the governor of Oshun State, Mr. Buigao Yetola, the governor of Edo State, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, the governor of Imo State, Mr. Emeka Ihedioha, the governor of Akwaibom State, Mr. Udom Emmanuel, the governor of Kebi State, Al Haji Abubakar Bagudu, the governor of Kaduna State, Mr. Nasser El Rufai, the governor of Taraba State, Mr. Darius Ishaku, the governor of Kano State, Al Haji Adulahi Ganduje, governor of Sokoto State, Aminu Tambowal, Ikiti State Governor, Dr. Kayode Faimi, and the deputy governor of Anambra State, Mr. Nkem Okeke. Other important dignitaries here include former Commonwealth Secretary General Chief Emeka Nyoko, Oba of Lagos, Rowan Akioli, National Leader of the APC, Chief Bola Tinubu, Group Managing Director, CEO of Zenith Bank, Mr. Ebenezer Onyago, the Group Managing Director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, Mr. Amele Kiari, Chairman of First Bank of Nigeria, Mrs. Ibukun Awushika, Former Group Managing Director of Diamond Bank, Mr. Alex Oti, Former Chairman of the Newspapers Proprietors Association of Nigeria, Ismaila Isafuntua, Publisher of Vanguard's newspaper, Mrs. Sam Amuka, Chairman of STB Makan, Sir Steve Omojafo, and wife, Muji, Chairman of Channels Media Group, Mr. John Momo, Publisher of This Day Newspaper, Prince Unduka Obaibena, Publisher of Guardian Newspaper, Mrs. Maiden Ebru, Founder of the Center for Value in Leadership, Professor Patu Tommy, and the former Vice Chancellor of the University of Lagos, Professor Uyi Bidapobi, who was the chairman of the occasion, as well as other important guests. When we see people like and Godwin that we encourage our students that they can get there. Thank you for encouraging a lot of University of Lagos graduates who are now great men, even in your own industry. There was a question and answer moment for the celebrant conducted by Mr. Jim Ovia, who raised important issues on the economy, job opportunities for the youth, agriculture, and his plans for the next five years at the helm of affairs of the CBN. There was some indication that you'll be supporting the youth. You will also support financial inclusion, as well as you will also give the necessary incentives for youth that will create jobs, particularly um, creative industry, agriculture, uh, fintech, um, and also other areas of innovation. Now, how will you achieve this, Mr. Governor? Under the, under the our creative industry uh, fund, we set aside almost close to about 30 billion to, to finance that fund. That fund is going to be supporting our youth in the area of special. It will be supporting our youth in the area of theater. It will be supporting our youth in tech, in design, software development, and will also support our youth in the music industry. Then the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, takes to the podium with nothing but positive things to say about the celebrant. 
one of the very important things for us at the economic management team is just his versatility, his ability to talk about fiscal policy, talk about monetary policy, but then also talk about, you know, the sorts of things that only a Lagos boy can know. And then a toast. For a much, much, much better second term. Mr. Godwin Emefele boasts of over 20 years' experience in the banking industry. Prior to his appointment as CBN governor, he was the chief executive officer and group managing director of Zenith Bank PLC. He has also served as deputy managing director, executive director in charge of corporate banking, treasury, financial control, and strategic planning of Zenith Bank PLC. As he pilots the affairs of the Central Bank of Nigeria in the next five years, we wish him all the best. Wow, two great sons of a car land honored on the program I today. Say congratulations to you That's and congratulations right. to you if you're celebrating this week also. We also wish those same warm wishes to Chief Oladile Fajemi Roku. Right. Well, this is much we can take on Metrofile today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Watch past editions of Metrofile. Go to channelcv.com via YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Twitter and let's hear from you. For the number blinking there, if you want to find out details about the program, you can always call that number. And we will be here to answer all your questions. That's right. Thank you for watching. I'm Anne Mwawudu. And I'm Ogech Kuosi. Do not forget to watch the repeat of this program on Saturday at 12 noon. A fresh edition comes up on Sunday at 9.30 a.m. And that, of course, repeats on Wednesday at 11 p.m. Yep. Please do watch out for it. Thank you once again. And we'll see you pretty soon.